Hi everyone, this is George DeCosta from The Hunting Grip. We're going to try to show you today some steady to flush and also some steadiness drill. Um, well, stop to flush, excuse me. I'm here with my training partner, Joe Maser from Sagebrush Bononis. We train a lot together. And our young pup, CK. CK is just a little over a year old. So we're going to walk out on the field and we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to try to get everything in here at once. Hopefully you can see it with the GoPro. The first part of stop to flush is getting the dog to stop before the point. You can do that two ways. You can either throw a bird while the dog is running around or you can try to release a bird from a launcher before the dog goes on point. I have some uh, birds and launchers out there. So I'll talk as we go. So first step is to have the, the dog stop when the bird flushes before it points. The second step after you get it to do that is to stop the dog at the flush after it points and then after that um, go ahead and stop the dog and shoot the bird. Um, I usually will give a whoa when I start and a little nick um, with the e-collar and then after a while I will lose the uh, whoa and just a little nick on the e-collar when the bird flushes and then just nothing at all so the dog kind of knows hey when that bird flushes I stop. CK come here come here come here hey okay hunt him up out. All right so we're going to try to get CK I'll just do a, a throw one first because it's easier for uh, for me to uh, control that sometimes he points before I can I can uh, release the bird. We've been doing this now this is probably our third time out and you'll probably see he's getting pretty good already so I want to get him to where he can see me um, CK good boy good boy whoa I don't know if you saw the pigeon go and if you can see CK good boy so I'll make him whoa whoa good boy good boy Good boy. I'm praising him. I, you probably can't see it, but I'm petting him from his from his uh, top of his legs on his back down. Okay, head him up. So now we'll try to get the next one where we launch the launcher when, as soon as he makes game. Or he doesn't even have to make game. As soon as I know he can see the bird. Good boy. Good boy. I'm hoping you're catching this on the GoPro. I don't want him to get too far out because he's a he's hill range out there. That a boy, come on. That's a good boy. Yeah, he's already got a whiff of one. There's a couple birds out there. You find something or no? You can figure it out. That a boy. We've been training out here with other dogs today, so. We, uh, uh, he's already got sent. I'm going to try to pop it. Whoa! I don't know if you can see him. Good boy. Whoa! Good boy. Now, I'd have preferred to, pop, preferred to pop that before he actually stopped, but he's got such a good nose that it's hard to, to get him. Good boy. So you can see he's still there. I petted him. Now I'm going to let him go. He's going to go find that launcher, launcher, I'm sure, but we'll let him figure it out. Hunt him up! So that launcher's got no bird in it, but it's still got plenty scent. So what I'm going to do, I do this with the dogs. I let them know the bird's gone. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, no bird, no bird, no bird. Good boy, good boy. All righty, let's go. Now I'm not sure where the next one's at, so <laughs> I forgot where we put it. He'll find it. I think it's over here. Okay, now this time, instead of just launching it, I'm gonna come over and praise him. Normally I will launch that. He's not sure where it's at, so I'm going to let him work this out. I'm not sure where it's at.
Whoa. Okay, so now he knows. Whoa. Now stop to flush, I could have popped that on him if I wanted to steady him up, but right now we're working on stop to flush on steadiness. So now I know he's got a nice, nice big whiff of it. Whoa. Okay, it's not it's not going so I'm gonna go get it myself. Whoop! I don't know if you can see him. Whoa. If he moves, I might just nick him just a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Again, I'm gonna show him there's no bird. Okay, come on, come on. It's gone. That a boy. That a boy. No bird. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, let's go get another one. Now this is the last one. See Kate. Come on. And this next one's a pheasant. So what we're going to do is shoot this bird. Hopefully, I don't have a lead on him. I normally would, so I'm going to have to reach down and grab him. Um, Joe, you don't have a lead on you, do you? Um, so what we're going to do? Is he's going to go on point with the pheasant, and then I'm going to throw a pigeon around him to get him to be steady even while birds are moving. He, he points from so far away it's kind of hard to show you guys all this. Okay so you can see he's on point already. So what I'm going to do now, and he's on point too far away to be honest with you, but you can see him. I'm going to toss a pigeon right now. Good boy. Good boy. Whoa. I don't know if you can see the pigeon fly away, but there's CK. So now we're going to work on steadiness. Normally, I would have somebody hold him. Joe, you want to go up towards that pheasant? And okay. So hopefully we'll hit it. We don't hit it. We don't. We do. We do. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Well, that pleasant didn't fly. You got a couple shots in there? Whoa, whoa. So now he's excited, so I'm gonna have him calm down. Whoa, easy, easy. Whoa, good boy. I just want him to calm down a little bit. Easy. Whoa. Good boy. Whoa. Whoa. Teaching him patience. I don't know if you can see him. I'm just having him calm down. Whoa. Teaching him a little patience. There. Now he's calm. Fetch! Now that bird didn't cooperate, but you get the idea. Atta boy, CK! Come here! Good boy! Good boy! Now I'm backing away. When a young pup, I back away from them. Good boy! Hold! Hold! That's a good boy! Hold! Good boy! Give! Good boy! Good boy! So that's it! Thank you, Joe. Uh, first, you, you uh, get them to stop. When the bird flushes on its own, you can toss it or, or with a the launcher. Then get them to stop. When, after the point, let the bird fly away, and then get him to stop to flush after the shot by holding them and by maybe nicking them. And we'll work on that a little bit later. What I'm trying to do right now is just get him to stop, wait all the way till the flush, and, and then go for the retrieve. So not bad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something from it. Thanks much.